All right, everybody, story time. I think you're gonna like tonight's story. It's, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I would like to tell a story tonight. I mean, I never really get a chance to ever tell any stories. I don't know. I mean, you're probably, I, I mean, are you even any good at it? Uh, I happen to be the best storyteller, and I'm gonna prove it. Just give me a chance. All right, let's see what you got. All right, well, tonight's story, I mean, the first story is about uh, this guy who goes, he goes for a, uh, a job interview over the winter. Yes, he needs a job during the winter. And Ah, glad you could make it. We at the Overlooked Hotel feel you would be absolutely perfect for this job. And, you know, honestly speaking, you look like you have your stuff together. And, you know, the winter months can be a little tough. It can be a little rough. I'm not going to lie. The snow makes things almost impossible. And you really do feel slightly isolated out here. Well, to be honest with you, that sounds like something I can do. And I can assure you I won't kill my family. Ah, well, good. But uh, we didn't mention anything about your family. Ghost told me to do it. I had a real convincing argument. I gotta go kill my family. I'm really having such a great time. I love playing out in the snow. Isn't this fun? Yeah, this is the best fun I've ever had. Only suckers sit inside and do work on a fun day like this. Fun snow days for everyone. Yeah, this is great. Hey, I'm gonna hit you with a snowball. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Good evening, Lloyd. How are you tonight? Ah, good evening, Mr. Torrance. Family problems? <sighs> Trouble with the old sperm bank. Ah, hmm. Kill your family, and I'll get you a beer. Now, hold on one sec. Ah, yes. Kill your family, you can have this beer. Deal? All right. Okay, wait. This sounds like that movie. You know, the one that famous writer wrote about. You know. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, oh, hold on, man. I got another one. This will be a good one. This one will really creep you out. Three guys go on a fishing trip that ends in a horrible, horrible way. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and want to go to bed. <laughs> We had a little drink about an hour ago and it went right to my head. We had a little drink about an hour ago or sea or foam. Yep. You, you always hear me sing the song. Show me the way to go home. Oh, boys. We have company. All hands on deck. I'm gonna get one shot at this. Oh, oh. Fine, son of a All right, stop it. Now I know that for sure 
you're full of crap. I know what that movie was, and it doesn't even end that way. You got it completely wrong. That's just not how it goes. Let, you better let me take over. No, no, wait, wait. I got it this time. I promise you, I got it. This is a story you're going to really like, because it's to do with arcade games. I love arcade games, and you remember this one. <sighs> This is why I am the master at this game. No one can beat my score. Nobody. You think you're tough. You think you're so good. I could beat your score. Anyone could beat your score. No, I'm actually the reigning champion. I'm world known for having the highest score in this game. You can't beat me. No one can. Well, we'll see about that. I'm going to beat you. Good luck, punk. You're not going to win, and your parents hate you. What are you talking about? Ugh, damn it! This is impossible! How can anyone ever get close to this score? I don't even... No, I'm not giving up. I thought that was a good story. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I wonder if he beat your score. I guess we'll never know because the machine blew up. Dumbass. 